Sporting dog adventures run, that boy, was run. Awesome. Everything you Good need boy. is here, here under the sun. Everything you need is here under the sun. Welcome to Sporting Dog Adventures presented by Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks and Tourism. We are gonna give you a great training tip today that is going to be something that you can do in your backyard or at a trap range. I've got Sean Wozniak here. He has agreed to come and use his mech thrower in practice for the season so that he looks good while he's on the show. I think you got that wrong. It's <laughs> roll reverse there. So I sh you should be training the dog and I should be practicing, huh? Pretty much. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we are gonna start with, we're working with a dog and we're starting at 100 yards away. And we're letting someone just basically practice and shoot. We're watching the dog. We're making sure that the dog isn't getting nervous while we're, the person is shooting. And as we are working with the dog, if he's not nervous, we're gonna move closer and closer. Now, something that I do that is kind of cool is I just take a bumper with me. And when I can hear the person yell pull and I see them pull up, I'll actually throw the bumper and then have the dog go and fetch it after they hear the shot. It's cool because the dog will then associate retrieving an item with the shot, but it also gives them a distraction so that they're not so focused on the noise and they can get used to an actual real shell going off. Sporting Dog Adventures is presented by the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks and Tourism. Boucher Automotive, Fleet Farm, Heavy Shot, Mac Outdoors, Rite Inertia Driven Shotguns, and Soggy Acres Retrievers. Hey, welcome to season nine of Sporting Dog Adventures. Please like our videos, share them, and spread the word to all your friends. So Sean, gone are the days where you can only do this at a trap range. You guys actually have a line of products that people can buy if they have land or they have public land around that they can use themselves. Correct, we offer a wide range of clay target machines to the market from our backyard shooters all the way to the commercial clubs. Uh, the machine that we're gonna be using today is our 100E and what we'll be utilizing is I'll be shooting off of it as you're working with the dog closer to me until you guys are up on me shooting and making sure the dog is comfortable and we'll continue to do that and then we can transition into the next portion. So I start where I am at about 100 yards and I read the dog. If the dog is doing fine, the dog's excited, maybe I have the dog retrieving, I actually move closer in 10 yard increments. I get to the point where maybe not the first day, but the second or third day, we're basically working from 100 yards all the way to right next to the machine and the shooter. Now, once I get closer, I do definitely like to throw a bumper so that the dog is associating the shot with picking something up. And it seems to put them at ease because it's a distraction where they're not only just hearing the shot, but they're also focused on doing their job that they love. Good. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Sit. Happy. Good. Come here, buddy. Here. Happy. Good boy. Here. Good boy. Good boy. Drop. Good boy. Heel. I hope this training tip helps you get your dog ready for the field this upcoming fall. That's it for this week. Join us next week for more high flying adventures. Nothing beats a good pheasant hunt with my sons. We're headed to Kansas this winter. The state has some of the world's best populations of upland game, making it one of America's top bird hunting destinations. Kansas provides mixed bag opportunities and 1.5 million acres of public hunting lands. All that makes Kansas an ideal destination. The season runs from the second weekend in November to the end of January. Go to ksoutdoors.com and plan your trip today.